a genuine thoroughbred, with feline grace and the strength of a lion, of course. The 205 Turbo 16, a new racing car by Peugeot. This racing car, the sporting outcome of the 205, appears all things it is. For the first time in the world, a mass-produced car and its sporting conception are born simultaneously. And very quickly, the first batch of 200 models are set aside for homogulation. The first trials, the first measurements. The 205 Turbo 16 is the result of the combined efforts of the human hand, the rigor of data processing, industrialization, and the electronic impulses of the modern car. Designed and built in 14 months, a record in itself, it was quick to show its talents. As development advanced, 20 special high-performance versions were reserved for the works team. Peugeot Talbot Sport was making great strides forward. A year later, the family photo with the baby about to take its first steps. And here are those first steps. In the Tour de Corse, to be precise, part of the World Championship, a trial run which raised quite a few eyebrows, including those of the driver of this Opel, left standing by the Turbo 16. Going beyond the established limits, winning. That's what being a challenger is all about. A dream beginning for the 205. Here in Corsica, it's up against the rally giants, Lanciers and Odis, boasting several world championship titles already. But the two Peugeot drivers, the Finn, Ari, Vatanen, and Frenchman Jean-Pierre Nicolas, know how to get the best out of their beasts. The very first technical assistance at the end of this first special stage. Anxiety, the verdict of the stopwatch, the tension, this time, it's the real thing. Jean Tote holds his breath. Vatanen holds his, too. OK, relax. Shave a few seconds off your time, and everything changes. That's the world of top competition. Jean-Pierre Nicolas, very concentrated because he's come back to racing after five years' absence, but relaxed and confident at the same time because he was responsible for final tuning of the Turbo 16. There was no doubt in Jean-Pierre's mind this 205 could cause a step. With one quarter of the race over, Vatanen took the lead in this tour de course, and so as not to be left out of things, Nicolas decided to move up into second place. And what was the opposition doing? Getting worried. The Lanciers, despite their fabulous handling qualities, struggled. The Odis, completely out of it. Blomquist was nowhere. Danish and Hall threw in the sponge. And Roll was at the wheel of the new Quattro Spot, making its debut in Corsica. The Renault 5 turbos had lost a lot of time. It's the generation gap. A 
And what's more, it's raining, which only makes things easier for the Turbo 16. Halfway through, Vattenen still holds the lead, but the 19th special stage is his downfall. In the middle of a violent storm, he spins off the road and throws the sponge in. Nonetheless, the Turbo 16 leaves its mark on this tour de course. From now on, in the rallying world, there is Peugeot and the others. Vattenen's withdrawal is a godsend for Lancia, who scored a victory that appeared highly unlikely. For Renault, a godsend too. There would be no battle of the generations. Peugeot still has a card up its sleeve. Jean-Pierre Nicolas takes fourth place. First time out and first world championship points, almost unheard of. And in Corsica, Nicolas gets a hero's welcome as if he'd won. Three weeks after Corsica, the backdrop was Greece. The Acropolis Rally. The 205 goes ahead in this new adventure. 2,300 kilometers long, longer than in Corsica with all special stages driven over earth tracks. Another facet, another dimension of road racing. In other words, a very tough rally. confirmed Peugeot Talbot's spot for its major technical options on the Turbo 16. Long wheelbase, centralization of weight, four-wheel drive, and the location of the transverse engine slightly rear of center. Greece was the opportunity for the first checkup, the car's first bill of health. Here, driving fast is not enough. You also have to keep going at a pace, which for Audi and Lancia is mere routine. In the early stages, the Audi Quattros took control, but Peugeot was close behind. Blomqvist, Mikola and Roll, all driving the German make, take turns leading the event. As the miles slip by, the pace heats up. The new Audi, the Quattro Sport, gives an impressive demonstration of power. The Lanciers keep pace with them. The Peugeots are on their guard, letting nothing slip by. Another useful yardstick, the Japanese cars who lack competition performance. For Peugeot Talbot Sport, it's stock-taking time. Reliability-wise, no problems. Performance-wise, they can improve, therefore, they will. Every time, maximum time. Well, we change him being on the plan. Well, let's, yes, yes, well. I mean, uh, so said that I can have a priority of the 90, so. As driving time is logged up, the machines continue to sparkle. However, the drivers suffer, like Terry Harriman, Vattenen's co-driver. 
Jean-Pierre Nicolas heads for an assistance point, an oasis in a desert of minutes and seconds. Vatanen goes off again. Donc ce matin, j'ai fait un super temps dans un truc assez signé, avec du 14 Charlie Pasquier, Nicholas's co-driver, is totally exhausted. And the race continues, another night, and another day begins. the high point of the Acropolis rally, and the spot chosen by Vatanen to launch his attack. The Finn releases the roaring 350 horsepower monster behind him. He seizes the lead. In Corsica, he was pitted against the Lanciers, here against the Audis. But a few kilometers further on, something really silly occurs. A broken oil pump belt, and Vatanen has to abandon, and victory goes to Blomqvist. Nissan is 45 minutes behind the leader, and the best-placed Lancia still more than 15 minutes back, which shows how intense the peugeot Audi duel has been. Debutante, but ambitious, the Peugeot 205 almost overlooked the essential. This is a rehearsal for next season. The aim is to practice and learn, and learn it certainly did. A few weeks later in Finland, the curtain is about to go up. Three of the great flying fins are there. Alan for Lancia, Mikola for Audi, Vatanen for Peugeot. Every year, the Rally of the Thousand Lakes brings together these flying fins for a race that is almost a Grand Prix, their Grand Prix. There are no wait-and-see competitors here. The drivers improvise, the cars answer the call. The fact that Vatanen and the Turbo 16 are in the lead in a rally is no longer a surprise, but such total domination by man and machine is hardly believable. Alan, leader of the Lancia drivers, is stunned. Everybody go like hell. 
But Nen, on the other hand, is still as sharp as his driving, the secrets of which he tries to explain to Toivonen, another automobile acrobat. <laughs> The Rally of the Thousand Lakes, a simple story. Lancia's lead, Peugeot overtake the Lancia's, Odis drop further and further back. Against all odds, especially the Odys, the 205 lays down the law. Holy union of the central rear engine and independent four-wheel drive. Peugeot's given a new dimension to automobile architecture, and Peugeot wins. <laughs> Martin in first, Alan second. A few weeks later, the next round of the World Championship was held in Italy. Peugeot 205, Turbo 16 in Lancia country. The Sahaimo Rally is one of the classics in the World Championship, and it's a reference circuit, enabling Peugeot to compare themselves to others. On their home ground, the Lanciers go straight out into the lead. But Peugeot is not far behind. Two or three tenths of a second difference per kilometer, it's like the Formula One. The Quattros are hanging on by the skin of their teeth. After Liguria comes Tuscany. Odi unchanged. up. Lancia down. The results of the new quotation on the rally stock exchange. The hierarchy is changed again. The 205 Turbo 16 moves into first place. But each rally has its own problems. Firstly, Saint-Rémo 
is a race that lasts six days. The driver, the team and the technicians have to know how far they can go without going too far. You have to build up a lead and then fight to keep it. The other problem with this rally is the passion it arouses. There's no doubt that Latins love racing cars. After three rallies and one victory, Vatanen and his Turbo 16 have gained confidence. There's now a driver fully in control of a finely tuned vehicle comparable to other teams. Peugeot 205 Turbo 16 gains a new victory. In the San Remo Rally, Vatanen takes 31 of the special stages out of 54. From the 10th onwards, he was in the lead. <laughs> Harry Vatanen's success is completed by Jean-Pierre Nicolas's fifth place who retires after having successfully perfected the 205. <laughs> Traditionally, the last rally of the season is in foggy England. The Turbo 16 is to do battle for the fifth time in its short life. The Audi Quattros are still there, the Lanciers prefer to drop out, this race, organized by the Royal Automobile Club, is among the toughest. Among the entrants are such teams as Toyota, Opel, and Nissan. Vatanen seems to sail over this rugged course with no major setbacks. The special stages and hours and days go by. The Peugeot driver is in the lead from the start. And suddenly, the unexpected happens. He spins off the road and rolls over. The 205's domination comes to a grinding halt. With his guard down, Vatanen falls into the trap of a fraction of a second's inattention during the night. Mikola reaps the totally unexpected benefit, taking first place. Furious with himself, Vatanen manages the impossible. He makes up for the lost round, overtaking Mikola and moves back into the lead. But this time, it's the car that lets him down. A broken shaft and precious minutes tick away. Unruffled, and for the second time, Mikola 
inherits the first place. Matanen is down, but not out. Gritting his teeth, he claws back Mikola's lead, and a stone's throw from the finish squeezes past him into first place and stays there. Seven months of trials, five races, three victories. This is the 205 score. In the World Championship, there's not a shadow of doubt. The new challenger's name is Peugeot. Harry Madden and Terry Harriman, who won this year by 41 seconds, after three very, very hairy stages in the Kyanog, which kept us all guessing right the way through to the end. A magnificent win, three times in a row for Peugeot, 